Hey everybody, we're looking at Saturday Night Live, and this is a skit, and the skit is called Weekend Update, Melissa Villasenor on Oscar Snubs, this is from Saturday Night Live, which I guess just happened this past Saturday. I haven't watched Saturday Night Live in ages, I haven't found anything in the whatever I've seen on the interwebs. I haven't really found anything I really found all that funny from Saturday Night Live, so. Hey, let's give this a, a whirly gig. Uh, oh, by the way, full disclosure, I have already seen this, but I'm going to slightly pretend this is the first reaction. And I am doing this because this is apparently some a lot of people apparently upset about this. I'll check it out. Her nominations were announced last week, and here to discuss her thoughts on these awards <coughs> are her own Melissa Via Senor. Via Senor, Melissa. All right, here comes our character. Our character is Melissa Via Senor. Uh, I'm assuming she's a character. Oh yeah, she's a character. Thanks, Colin. Oh, I'm so excited for the Oscars this year. I think I have a really good chance to win. I think I have a really good chance to win. Oh, it's a good opening. I like it. She's she's immediately. Um, and I am honestly sharing you what I thought immediately when I saw this, but a little bit more because I've had this is now my second look. But she's immediately. She's. Uh, it's clear she does not understand what's going on around her. She's a caricature, obviously. She's got a, a big old goofy buck toothedness about her. But she's still, you know, reasonably attractive enough so as to, you know, keep you, you know, so there's that, there's that little thing going on, a little bit of sexualization going on there. But, you know, just a little, you know, still a little, little, little icky nerdness, you know, you know, that wonderful blend that you want to create in a character that's about ready to do something that, you know, is probably going to piss a lot of people off. It's a good character to do that from, right? Immediately from the start. I mean, I this is a, this is this to me at least strikes me as a good character to 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 do this from. You know, this is the part where, yes, I've already seen it. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Melissa, but, but for what? My music. I wrote original songs for all the top movies, like this one. Here's my song for Joker. And here we go. Here's the song. Now this channel isn't monetized, so I don't have to worry about it. But if it was monetized, I would have to worry about it. I wouldn't be able to play this. Because I will lose monetization to whoever this song, whatever. I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Let's let's listen to her song though. Hit it, fellas. <laughs> okay. So I gotta say, I'm really digging her vibe. I like it. <laughs> really. I mean, it's a. This is kind of like a like a 2019 version of Jan Hooks type of vibe going on. You know, it's just, you just can't, you're like, she's pretty high core, like, ultra professional, but there's just a little bit bad, bad shitty crazy behind the eyes. It's wonderful. I love this type of character because you could do so many things with a character like this that, you know, other characters couldn't get away with. Walking Phoenix, skinny, skinny. <laughs> okay, so far, I love it. It's great. It's, it's adorable. I mean, it's it's hideous. It's a it's it's oh, it's such a it's such a mix of things. I love it. The thing that this movie is really about is white male rage, white male rage, <laughs> white male rage. Oh, Joker. Joker. I mean, even the way she does it. Idea. Joker! This is the character she's not all there, folks. You're not supposed to fully take her seriously. You're not supposed to actually take this as Saturday Night Live is literally saying it's white male rage. This is a characterization of that. It's, if anything, it to me, I read it as kind of making fun of the people that hyperventilatedly think that that's all that joker is 
but at the same hand, you could possibly read it as this is a character created to just be able to to let you know in a safe space. Listen, we all know Joker's about white male rage. And white male rage is real. I don't know. There's uncertainty there. And that's why, at least for me, I love this. This is, this is the first thing I've seen for Saturday Night Live in a while that I find funny. Subjectively, of course. I have, that, was, that was great, Melissa, but I got I have no idea who this guy is, by the way. No freaking idea who that is. I, I don't even know who she is, quite frankly. I don't know. Either one of these uh, comedian, comedian, com funny people are. They might not actually be funny. I have no idea. But so far, I'm buying this. I'm enjoying this. This is this was hilarious. The first time I saw it, I tell you the truth. The first time I saw it, I, I laughed out loud to say I, I don't remember that song in Joker and uh, and I watch that movie every day while I work out <laughs> come on I tell you this is like okay you say the left can't meme dude this is a good meme this that was funny and this guy I mean he he I thought he delivered it with a really you know very wryly you know that very British type delivery to it without the accent, but the sentiment is nonetheless. It's, it's, I, I thought it's great. It's like, and then he's delivering it away, like, he almost says, Y'all ain't gonna like this. <laughs> and that's what to me makes it even funnier. It's like, come on, you know, people, you know, this whole cancel culture rage against the differences, uh, it works all many ways, man. So far, man, this is this is actually to me relevant political comedy. Dare I say it? What a weirdo! <laughs> well, uh, did you at least like the song? Oh wait, and I love what she says there. Come on, that was brilliant. I mean, if you catch this little subterfuge, like this is how these folks actually. Like, I mean, they're, they're making fun of everyone here. She's kind of making fun of the folks that are raging against the white. Because look at her, her response. Well, well. Although she is white. Right. I mean, white. <laughs> she is white. Ah! Oh, what kind of subliminalization you're working on there, son. But she is right. And that, I mean, if this was actually what, what you were doing, if you're working out while you're watching this. Oh, right, anyway, it, it's funny. I thought it was funny. I'm subjectively. I'm still on board with this. Let's see where this goes. I mean, I'm no music critic, but it seemed like it was just a description of the movie, and then it took a weird turn into social commentary. Aw, thanks. Well, here's... There you go. Come on, there it is. Look, it's the cluelessness. And, and what are they parodying here? This is actually really good. This is like these two people who so clearly are living in their own freaking realities and both of them are insane. I mean, that's my read here. Saturday Night Live is literally making fun of everyone here. This is my read. They're literally making fun of everyone. Holy mackerels. Ambiguity, uncertainty, uh, 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 a hole that the uh, that the audience can fill. I never see that from Saturday Night Live anymore. Everything is so transparent. Everything is a joke that you see coming from fifteen thousand miles away. I mean, maybe I'm reading things into us that they didn't intend. Maybe this is just another one of those things that I'm missing it. But I'm telling you that what I see, my my reading of it. There's something more going on here than than is at the surface. You're just immediately responding to the to the white male rage meme. And have you no day sunset? Here's another one. <laughs> My song for the Irishman. <laughs> this movie has a lot to offer. Al Pacino as Jimmy Hoffa. Gangster life gets kind of <laughs> messy. Robert De Niro and Lil Joe Pesci. It's three hours long. They're old and they're young. And it's white male rage. White male rage. White male rage. Irishman. Irishman. I, <laughs> I thought that was funny.
funny. White male rage. White male rage. You know, I think, I mean, I would love to hear like a full version of this song. I'd love it. This is like in the episode. Oh, what, what's the name of that series? Oh, no. Oh, it's a British series. You guys, somebody in the comments below. There's a series. Oh, gosh, I can't believe I can't remember the name of it. And there's a song in there. And, and the song is, it's a spaceship series. Okay, they're in space. And they're out there, and the, the song is called Destroy, Destroy the Humans. And it's a good song. It's a good tune. It's such a good tune that even while that particular spaceship, and the name of the spaceship is the name of the show, is being pursued by the aliens who've created this song to get everybody up you know, in a frenzy to go kill all the humans, even while that alien race is pursuing them, they're jamming out because the song, it's just got beats. And that's what I feel about this. This this just got the beats. I mean, that is, I mean, you just, I got to, I mean, I'm going to play this again because I, I think this is, this is hilarious. And, and her, I mean, I, I, I think that her, her, her expressions are like kind of on, on par with like what, what Jan Hooks was able to pull off because she's existing in all kinds of, of tweener regions saying really really horrible hateful things and and i'm loving it i mean that's that's to me that's brilliant the offer al pacino as jimmy hoffa gangster life gets kind of messy roberts and nero and lil joe pesci it's three hours long they're old and they're young and it's white male white male rage white male rage white, white male rage, rage. Hey, Wishman. That's awesome. I'm. That was great, Melissa, but that one definitely was not in The Irishman. And I should know, I watched that movie alone on Christmas Day. Get it? Incel. Get it? Get it? Come on. I mean, I know you get it. And look at him. Look at him. Look at that face. He's like, I'm going to do this. I know. I know. This is like, everybody, come on in. Come on in. Swim in the pool. Don't come on, man. This is like one of them. Hey, man, what you doing? What you doing, man? Take off all your clothes and jump on in the pool, man. There's lots of toxic waste in here. It's great. I mean, that's pretty much what he's saying. He's baiting you, and you're like, oh, yeah, let me jump on in. And her, too. They both know it. They know it. Sad. Of course, none of, these, none of these songs are in the movies, Colin. Hey, here's another one. How many more do you have? A whole bunch. Okay. But I'll just combine them all, okay? okay. Hit it, boys. <laughs> Anyway, I think that I'm not going to play any more of this, but uh, I think that was the, those were the two parts that everybody is uh, is uh, is uh, seemingly upset about. Uh, I, I'm uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sub them, and I'm, I'm gonna give them a like. And I'm saying, all right, bravo. You know, maybe maybe you'll uh, turn back towards uh, you know. Make sure you smash everyone so on Internet Live. Everybody deserves smash. Everybody, every single one of us deserves smashed. If you start doing that, maybe I'll start watching more. Anyway, I want to say one thing in closing, and that is you do a search for SNL white male rage here, and you see we've got got some folks here with uh, opinions here. We've got the quartering, white male uh, uh, rage, SNL skit, melts down over Joker and creeps. You got Clownfish TV, SNL Roast Joker, Oscar nominations with a song called White Male Rage. And let's see, what's her? Wait. Hold on, what's their... Uh, but is Joker really about rage or is it about being disenfranchised? So, okay, so... I don't know, I didn't... I know, to be fair, I haven't heard these guys and what their actual take was. But... Let's just assume, even if, like, okay, the quartering, Jeremy, I like Jeremy. And Clownfish TV, I really like Clownfish TV a lot. I like their husband-wife team. That's why when I say I like Jeremy and I get more excited about them, it's because they're a husband-wife team. And I'm married, so I can relate to that. Like, that's a dream for some of us to have that, what they do together. It's pretty awesome. Love these people. And so, like, maybe their take is this is just more 
SJW horrible crap. This is just this is they're they're gonna go broke from this, you know, get woke go broke. And, and if they have that, if they say that, I, I totally disagree with them. I think they're totally missing the point. But I could be wrong. And uh, also, um, even if I'm not wrong and they are wrong, I still like them. They're okay for having that opinion. And I totally understand. I think there's some plausible reasons why you might interpret it in a different light than I do. But I still think I'm right. That's why I wanted to share this video. I wanted to get it out there. If anybody might happen to see it, get it out there. You know, this whole just being chill with nasty humor that might offend you works always. It's not just... Uh, you know, being able to have your, your FAG jokes and your NIGG whatever jokes. It's also being able to have your uh, white male rage jokes too. Like, you know. Now, I don't care that they, they, they might have double standards. I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, I won't say welcome bad thoughts or bad tasting jokes or whatever i'm just going to continue to not uh, be part of the rage machine set against people that make jokes that you find offensive but i'm okay with you being offended just chill out when i'm not in this case if you guys have decided to take that route i'm not with you i can't i can't follow with you on that i, th I think that uh i think it was just funny and uh, I'm actually going to give Saturday Night Live more of a chance to see if there's any other kind of skits that they have anywhere that uh, might be, as as I perceive it at least, biting. As long as you're attacking everyone, I'm cool, Saturday Night Live, since you are kind of like a national kind of thing. If you're just tall, just... If you're all just one way in general, if you're com if you're a comedy show, like you can you can become pretty predictable in general. I guess I'll end it there.